Hey everybody, this is Jeff from the Great Heights of Barely Controlled Chaos, and uh, we're on Piglet Watch today. So, I don't think she's going to have piglets today, but relatively soon, so we've got some choices to make. So, come on along, we'll talk to you about them. So it's on normal Saturdays, I'm out here delivering um, animal feed to the animals. We still do quite a bit of, or we do everything by bag still, and that's fine. But I'm going down to the goat barn right now where I'm going to give them their, or add to their snack that I give them every day. And I'm coming in here for a particular reason, and that's because birthing stalls. So this is one of our options. Let me put this bag down and we'll talk. Let's step back and talk about what we're doing and why. So the pig, the pig, yeah, the sow is about to have piglets. She needs a place that's warm, a place that's dry, and a place that's away from the boar to do that. So we have a couple of options here. We could leave her up in the other barn, and I'll show you that in a minute. We leave her up in the other barn and close the, the gate, because there is a gate for that barn. Okay, we could close this gate behind me here and just leave her in there. Problem is that that leaves the other pigs without shelter, and it's cold out right now. It's probably not super cold. This is not Buffalo weather cold, but it's going to be in the teens next week. So that brings us to option number two. Option number two also involves this barn, but what I could do is put some pig panel up here and just close in an area here. Maybe, you know, 10 feet square and give her just her area here to have her piglets in. That's an option number two. Option number three requires some work. And here's why, well, all of them require a little bit of work because I, I either have to create shelter for the other pigs, I need to create an area in there or and this is where the work comes in on this one I've got to manage somehow to get her to come down this area here through this area it's a long walk not really through this area into the goat barn through the goats area into one of our already pre-built goat stalls, or birthing stalls. Which we have done before. I will send a, I will put a link up above to when we moved pigs through here and I'll show you how well that worked. So, uh, we can move her into here. These are nice because they are all pre-built. I'm gonna lock the goats in because they're trying to get yeah, I know, right? Anyway, so these are rebuilt. They're already ready. All I need to do is put some fresh hay and stuff in here or some fresh straw or, or some bedding of some sort in here and she's ready to go. And it's nice and sheltered. It's super easy to put a, a, a heat lamp in here. Although I could put a heat lamp up in the, the main barn too. So, so those are our choices. I'm just trying to figure out what's the best way to do this. And I'm going to go around and feed the animals and think about this a little bit.
It looks nice. And if you do a nice scoop down the center, you get even amounts for both, both of them. So it's easier than trying to mix it. All right, so I'm gonna stand here in the chicken barn because A, it's warmer in here. It's out of the wind. And B, give me a moment to think. I gotta go clean the chicken uh, boxes out, the laying boxes out anyway. So you can see we got a couple of eggs here, but you can also see chickens keep making messes in their boxes. So I gotta clean these out today. So while I'm thinking about it, I'm uh, the more I think about it, the more I think um, trying to move her down into the goat area is going to stress her out. She has not been wandering far in the last month or so. She usually stays right up close to the barn. Occasionally she'll go down right to the edge of the woods there, right past the chicken barn, but she'll never, or to the goat barn, but she'll never actually push into the goat barn where the other two will. Um, so that leaves us with two options. That leaves us with closing the gate to the barn and then fencing her in in there. Um, and I think I think I'm actually kind of decided because if I close the gate, while the pigs can't get in, the the boar can't get in and mess with her, that means that I've got to build shelter out here. I um, mean, if you can't hear, I've already got a cold. I don't mind doing the work, but. I, that means that they've actually got to, you know, want to go into that shelter and use that shelter. Or they're going to try to either push into here, and, and we've had issues with this, and I'll show you where I fix this in just a minute. Um, or they're going to try to go in the goat goat barn. So earlier this week, I, we actually had some issues with the pigs trying to come into this area that are going in and stealing the chicken's food. Um, and... As you can see, I put some pig panel. We've got this nice chain link fence, but it was obviously it's a recycled piece of something, and it, they were breaking it. Um, you can see there's a little hole down right down there. Um, so what I did is I just wired up a piece of pig panel behind it, and they've been out of here since then. So that's good, um, but it means that they would be trying to look for shelter, um, and you can hear them right over there through the fence here. You can just really see. Yeah, the, there's one of them. And they've been pushing into the goat barn too. So, so that means while they would be willing to go in the goat barn, feeding becomes an issue. I gotta feed them up away from the goats because otherwise they'll compete for food and I don't want the, I don't give the goats that much um, and I don't want the pig stealing what I do give them. Um, the goat feed is more expensive than the pig feed um, and it's not really, it's not about expense though. It's all about um, really what they need and I need to make sure that the goats are getting the grain that I give them and not just giving it to the pigs. And I need the pigs to eat their own food and then go out and do, you know, for roughage afterwards. So I think what I've decided here is we're going to go ahead and close in part of, fence in part of the, the existing pig barn. Just close her in that area and uh, make sure she's got food and water in there, obviously. But... Um, keep her in there versus um, trying to move her or completely shutting them out of the pig barn. That continues to give them shelter. They know where food is. You know, it means we're going to have to come in from the other side. No. It means we're going to have to fill two bowls, which we've been doing anyway, but um, we're gonna, one is going to be exclusively for her now and one is going to be for them. So I think the only problem is going to be when I'm going to try to pound the posts and I need to put at least two or three posts in there um, and I think she's going to be a little upset by that but we'll figure this out. I got thinking about doing stuff and forgot forgot that I left the door open here. So now I got chickens in here! Yay! Not at all what I want especially considering I have not put the lid on their feed yet. So come on chickens Come on, back in, back, back, back in your area. Let's go, let's go, back in your area, back in. Come on, you guys know where you're supposed to be. Ladies know where you're supposed to be. All right, so I pretty much, I can't remember if I said it or not, but I pretty much decided that what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just put a piece of pig fence, pig panel in the pig pen and just kind of section off an area for her. Make sure that she's got water and food in there and then, I mean, that's going to present some challenges. 
because um, obviously we got to be able to get in there and get out of there and, and help her. But I think that's the best way to, to section her off um, and still give the other pigs um, a place to place to be in out of the weather. So now I'm collecting all the tools that I need. I've gotten I've got the three T posts that I'm going to use. I'm going to grab a piece of pig paneling that I've got down by the goat barn, and I'm looking for the uh, the T post whammer real quick, and then we'll be ready to go. So this is the trick. This is going to be the trick. Um, as you can see, she's out of here right now. I'm going to be pounding a post in right here, or right here actually, right next to this gate, so I can sleep in the gate, which is where she normally sleeps. So I'm going to be pounding it in where she sleeps, and then I got to try to get her back in here before I close it all up. We'll get it figured out. All right, as you can see, I got the fence in here. I got the the smaller holes down near the bottom. I've had to put this post in at least three times to get measured right, and that's not. Um, in tight. I just wanted to put it in there I just kind of get an idea where it's going to go. I still need to wire this up, but as you can see our pig has wandered off. So first things first I'm going to wire this pole up so it's ready to go and then I'm going to go find her and get her back up here. So good luck. Might be hard. She might be hard to see, but she's down there. Like I said, she's sometimes I'm going down just into the woods just a little bit uh, that's pretty much as far as she'll go. So hopefully I can just turn her around and head her back up to the pig pen or the pig barn and then if I need to I can always get uh, one of the other kids out here to help me with this. Let's see how it goes though. Yeah, that didn't work. I'm gonna go get some help. Go grab one of the kids and uh, see if we can't get her up here and uh, into the pig barn into her new enclosure. I'm waiting for the boys who are going to come out and help me. The more I look at her, the more I observe her while we're working out here, while I'm trying to get her back up there, the more I realize she's close. Um, so hopefully, you know, this is this is the right day to do this. This was the, this was the right day to do this. So um, we'll get this knocked out and get her in there and get her ready for that. Uh, and that'll be a good thing so that she's ready for, for her piglet. So we'll be keeping a really close eye on her in the next few days. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. I was able to rouse, rouse Robert out. His brother's also coming. Um, it's a little chilly out here, isn't it, Robert? Yeah. A little bit chilly. So his brother will be coming in just a minute. Robert is actually in charge of our pigs. Right, Robert? Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, he feeds them at, at night and takes care of them. So he's one of our teens that, that does that, as I said. Teens, getting them involved and giving them an animal to take care of is always important. You're excited about piglets? Yeah. Yeah. So let's go ahead and see if we can't find her and start roosting her up here. We'll get to, when Gabe gets out here, he can help us. Big pig. At the moment, she's cooperating with the two of us. So, like I said, I don't want to stress her out. So I don't want to push her too hard or anything. We're just going to try to walk her just to go ahead and touch her on the back. Yeah, she'll move. She doesn't like to be touched too much, especially on the back side, so we'll just touch her and then, like I said, try not to stress her out, so. Don't come on, come this way, Gabe. Come the other way. Or just get outside of her frontal view. So, other helpers out here. This is the hard part because we got to go through all these prickers. She can get through here easily, but we have trouble. Gabe, 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 you're going to turn her around. Mom, big pig. We got you a nice, warm place to be. Yeah. Nap, sleep. Got food and water in there for you. So, all the, you have what you take, you leave you alone. Yeah, that's the goal here. There we go, come on. There we go. So the barn is divided into two halves, Gabe. We're going for the one that's closest to the outer wall. Okay. Uh, but she's probably coming. They're probably coming next week, this week, sometime. Yeah. Christmas piglets. Yep. Yeah. 
Right, Dad? Sure. All right, wow, this is going pretty well. It was much better than when I was trying to do it by myself. Because she kept walking around me. So this is where it's going to get tricky. We may actually have to close this gate. Yeah, this round here, So. This is the hard part. Yeah, this is the hard part. So let me close this gate, actually. Oop. All right, so we put her in here. It was not too difficult. I got to finish wiring up this fence here. You can see it's a little bent, so I need a longer piece of wire. Yep. She's, pigs don't like to be cooped up too much, so she, you know, may not enjoy this as much as we would like her to, but at the same time, this is good for her, so. And dad um, dropped his phone. Yeah. <laughs> and we got got her in here, so we gave her a little bit of food. We're going to give her some water, You're and right. things are good. So my goal had been to make sure that I could get this gate open, but the way the fence is leaning, I don't think I can. Well, maybe. It's kind of a minor inconvenience to go over the fence, so it's not the gate, so it's not that big of a deal, but it would have been nice if I'd gotten it so I could open the gate and close it and get in and out. But, like I said, minor inconvenience. We get her some water, give the other pigs some water, and uh, I think we'll be good. Like I said, we'll be out here quite a bit checking on her in the next few days. Okay, so that's it. Uh, we got her in there. It still remain, remains to be seen what these two pigs think of it. Um, you can kind of see them down there. But yeah, there's two pigs over the, out there. We'll see what they think of it when they come in tonight. And then uh, hopefully hopefully they won't mess with her too much. The goal is obviously to keep the boar away from her while she's farrowing. Um, we don't want to hurt him hurting the piglets or hurting her or messing with her or anything like that. So If you enjoyed our videos, please give us a thumbs up. Please uh, hit the subscribe button below if you want to see all of what we got. And uh, make sure you share if. If you've enjoyed it and it was useful to you or interesting to you, please share it with your friends. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you next time.